Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sane, and today I'm going to be doing another video on some tips and tricks on how to improve an Apex. This one I'm going to be covering the firing range. The firing range is a really good asset that the game gives you, and is a really good way of kind of improving your game, stepping up your play. It's been something that I've utilized every single day that I play. And yeah, it's just really helpful. I want to show you guys kind of how my process of how I abuse the firing range and how it has really affected me and my gameplay. So let's just go into it. So first off, the firing range has a lot of different levels, has a lot of different things that you can do with it to really help you out. It's got some walls for you to practice on. It's got a big old hill for you to slide on so you can practice with good momentum, moving around, stuff like that. So the first thing I want to talk about is just moving around. Just moving around, practicing your slide jumps, practicing bunny hops. You just want to take this time and really get used to the rhythm of slide jumping and bunny hopping and jump sliding, you know. Just, I just like to slide jump through these platforms, you know. Even practice these little movements that I like to do that give me a little boost, like that. This little flick down and up, if I can do it right. I feel like it gives me a little boost. And even controls like my, my angle a little bit, which makes it a little bit less predictable. So, you know, I'll, I'll move around and do things like this. I'll constantly be moving around, jumping between these two. Uh, be doing slide jumping, do jump slides, you know, maybe changing my direction, something like that. Do bunny hops, do all these little movement tech, zip line stuff. Just be practicing all this movement tech so you can get more comfortable with it and implement it into your game. Because the more it just becomes muscle memory, the easier it is to do. For example, the one thing I was working on yesterday is these zip line jumps. Now, I've, since they implemented the zip line cooldown, you can only get about two, but I feel, I figure, you know, if I ever get into a spot, maybe like by Hammond Labs, where I have that tall zip line, somebody's chasing me, I can jump on it, quickly turn around, kind of jump off, throw, throw them off, quickly turn around, I know what I'm doing, they, I, I know my game plan here. They don't know what my game plan is, so they get thrown off by my movement, and maybe I can, you know, snag a kill on them quick like that. So I'll practice moving like this, you know, just real quick, get the muscle memory down of it so that I can implement it into my game. Even just moving around zip lines, you know, just moving around the map, getting used to things. Another way, one other thing you should be doing is by is getting used to your character's abilities. Now, how quickly can you put down your watts and fences? Getting uh, adjusted to the range of how far you can throw your caustic barrels. Throwing your Gibby Dome Shield out, throwing your ultimate. Lifeline Health Drone, how... Memorize how quickly you can put it out. Even like run around, put a health drone on. For example, I'll do something like this. Maybe my teammates down over here, so I'll get used to putting that and keep moving. And Watson fences. This is what I used to do whenever I used to practice my Watson. And I'll come in here, see what formations I can do real quick. Say I'm in the middle of my in the middle of a fight, or even just really quickly get long fence out. Get used to that motion. Practice your character's abilities. For me, for a personal example that I do right now, I am a Horizon main, and I would say I'm a secondary Pathfinder. So I'm going to be constantly using their abilities and just moving around, doing little things, just just practicing my character, just playing my character, practicing my character, just moving around. It's a really good strategy and a really good way to get more familiar with with not only the game's mechanics and the game's movement mechanics, but your character's abilities and get you a lot more comfortable with just the overall flow of the game. And then, of course, the other thing you really want to do in firing range is abuse the fact that the, all the guns are here, laid out for you, all the attachments are here, laid out for you as well. And here's how I'm going to recommend practicing your guns. First, I think that at some point and on occasion, you should practice every single gun in the game. You should practice every single gun in the game with no attachments, because you never know what you're going to get when you drop. And if somebody's on you, you have to pick up the first gun you, you find. And that might be a P2020 with no attachments. So practice how to use this gun. Practice the hit fire of this gun. If you don't like the, you don't like the iron sights, then practice learning the hit fire. So you can manage yourself in a fight. Know how many bullets it takes to kill somebody with a gun. You know, I know if I get a if I get a, a naked P2020 with no extended mag and maybe a purple shield, I won't be able to kill anyone with it. So I'm going to manage this more and... Really be careful about how I approach this fight. Well, something like an RE45, I do the same thing. If they have a purple shield, I won't be able to one kill, kill them. So I know how to approach my fight with the arsenal that I was able to pick up. So you should practice every single gun in the game. At least at some point. And at least a couple times in the, in the training mode. Now, I go into firing range every day. I don't practice every single gun every day. 
What I usually do is I will pick my favorite guns, I will pick my loadouts, and I will practice those guns. One, I will practice them naked, because again, I'm looking for the gun, but I, you won't always find the attachments. And it's really RNG to see what attachments you'll get, so get used to the gun. And it's raw as form, with no magazine, no attachments whatsoever. Practice firing it, getting used to how you can kind of fight with each magazine as well, even whether you have no mag, no extended mag. Throw on a white one and get used to using that in minute. Just how many bullets you use up and how many bullets you have. And then eventually throw on a purple mag with no other attachments. And you can throw the full recoil of the gun. Shoot these targets like this one. And practice this until you can hit every single bullet on the target without missing. With no other attachments besides an extended mag. So you can get really used to controlling the recoil in its raw form. A good example is this is like the 99, you know? Making sure you can hit every single bullet. On this guy, not missing a single bullet. If you miss a single bullet, try again. Even on things like these sides, you know? And then pick the different sides. You've got a lot of different ranges here. I really like to use this platform here because this platform, I feel like, gives me a good, a good example of a close range no, fight with this us. man. A mid-range fight with this guy over here, and then a long-range fight with that guy kind of over there. I feel like this this platform here, the one that has the light guns, really shows off the three different ranges of Apex. And it's really good in practice too, but in practice too far. Now, after after you control the gun naked and control the gun with, the, with whatever extended mag you have, the fully purple extended mag, practice putting on your, your favorite sight, or even just any sight. Any sight in the game that you might ever throw on your gun, even if it's a placeholder sight, you know. I do like to do a 301 three times, so I'm going to practice it three times so that I know I'm comfortable and can use it well. But I also know I'm not going to get it three times all the time. Maybe I'll have a 1-2. to two. Get some long-range scoping with this 1-2 to two sight. So I'm going to use this one to two and practice with this so I can get used to shooting the gun with, again, the limited resources that you're going to have. It's a really big, important factor you can do. I recommend don't putting, don't put on your favorite sights. You know, like this HCOG. Put on the hollow instead and get used to shooting with. The get used to shooting with the iron sights too. Your gun comes with the iron sights. So might as well learn how to, how to get used to them and stuff. And practice hit fire. Always, always practice hit fire. This is a very important thing. To hit fire is such a good, good way to shoot your gun because you have full mobility. You never lose any mobility while aiming down sights. Alright, you lose mobility when you aim down sights, so you don't have to worry about that. You can just get full mobility. Get used to controlling your hip fire. Yeah, just practice that. You want to practice with pretty much all the guns that you think are going to pick. For me, I really like the 301, the 99, the G7. I come over to heavy, I like the wingman, the flatline. I use the triple take, I use the volt, and I use the massive. So I'll be practicing all of those. I'll also be practicing you know, the EVA. In case I carry an EVA while I'm waiting for a Mastiff because I found a purple shotgun bolt. I'll practice the Havoc. That's probably my placeholder energy gun. I'll practice, you know, probably all the snipers or maybe the Sentinel because I'll carry a Sentinel until I can find a triple take, you know. Practice these guns that you will have at some point in the game, most likely. And just get used to them so you can, you know, you can manage yourself when you're in a fight. And, of course, you do want to practice these legendary uh, the Care Factors guns. You want to practice them so that you can use them. There's... They're broken guns. You don't want to get the enemy team to have it. There's really good, yes. You want to you want to get some practice. In the game. So yeah, that's pretty much the best way you can utilize firing range. Just practice your gun. Put on pretty much bad attachments, I'm gonna say. Bad or no attachments. At some point, if you really want to spend a lot of time in, in uh, firing range, I would say maybe put on, you know, a white barrel stabilizer with your sight so you have something because you know white attachments are fairly common so you can get you can be pretty confident that you'll have at least a white so as I practice my bolt you maybe I'll take the barrel stabilizer off be used to it with no barrel stabilizer put the barrel stabilizer on so that way it never throws me off whether I have no attachment on this gun or if it's fully decked out and that's gonna be the best way to practice Apex Legends in the firing range but it's one of the simplest ways it's just, it's just a really simple trick Really simple tactics that can really just help you out in your gameplay. Do this for a couple minutes a day if you really want to improve at Apex. Just a couple minutes before you jump into games. It'll get you warmed up as well. It's a great it's a great hand warmer. It's a great 
uh, recoil control, warm up, everything like that. So yeah, hopefully this video helps you guys out. Uh, if you tune into my streams, you'll see that I abuse this warm up as well. And this video is actually my warm up for the day, so I like it. So yeah, I will see you guys around in the next video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit like, subscribe, it really helps me out. It really helps me grow my channel. But yeah, see you guys later.